Hello, third grade readers. Welcome to our lesson today on theme. We're going to make a little chart in our notebook today that's going to help you as we go throughout our lessons this week and next week. So grab your reading notebook and open up to the next page. So the last page I have in here is our point of view. So I went ahead and just turned to my next page. I also grabbed um, some different colored markers. You can if you want to, or you can just use your pencil and we will get started. So the first thing that we're going to put at the top is that this paper or this anchor chart we're going to make is all about theme. And when we write that, I want you to put the message and I want you to underline the first part because in the word, the message, you see the word theme. So we call it the message. Sometimes we call it the lesson. So it's either the message or the lesson and it's that the author that's the person who wrote it, once you, meaning the reader, to learn from the story. What is the message or the lesson that the author wants you to learn from the story? And it, I will tell you right now, because this is one of the biggest things, it does not involve the specific events in the story. So you are never going to say that a theme involves that character or those actions that are being done exactly in the story. It is the big idea that you're going to take away as the reader and apply to your life. So let's write down what are some common topics that we might see. We also call these the big I'm going to write it in bigger letters. Big ideas. What are the common topics or big ideas or lessons that we often come across when we are reading as third graders? So some of these involve courage, being brave. Sometimes they involve our dreams, like we talked about Martin Luther King Jr.'s dreams for the future. They involve kindness sometimes, how to be kind to one another. They also involve fears. Sometimes our stories talk about our fears and how to overcome our fear fears. They involve equality, which means being equal and treating each other equally, being kind to each other involving that. They might involve friendships. So kind of equality and friendships. Some of our stories are going to talk about honesty. The Boy Who Cried Wolf is an example of a story who's talking about honesty. They might be talking about family and how your family is important. Sometimes they're talking about achievement. So how do you, how are you successful? What is it that's important for achievement? Another big idea and a big word is acceptance. So accepting people, even if they look different or act different. Another big idea we might see is peace, having that peace. Hard work also comes up a lot. That hard work pays off. And two big ones that I'm going to put a star are being yourself. Being yourself and never giving up. Those are ones that we see a lot. So giving up, never giving up, and being yourself are two big ideas or topics that we often see when we are reading a passage and talking about the main lesson or the message that we should take away. Notice that none of these talk specifically about a character or their um, specific actions from the story. It's what we take away and apply to ourselves. 
So as we're reading, we can ask ourselves certain questions that will help us understand the message or the lesson. The first question that we can often ask ourselves is, what did the characters learn? What did the characters learn? What is it that they learned in this story? What is it that they took to heart? What changed from the beginning to the end? Okay. What is it they learned? Not, oh, I should play basketball. That would be specific to the story. But maybe that never giving up can lead to success. Working hard can help you grow. That might be what the characters learn. Another question that you can ask yourself is how did the characters grow or change? How did the characters grow or change? And when I'm saying grow, I don't mean physically like grow taller. I mean emotionally and spiritually inside. How did they grow? Did they grow because they've learned to accept others? That's an internal growing. Did they grow or change because they now know that it's okay to have some fears and to overcome them, you have to work through them. What happened to the character in the story? What changed or what's different from the beginning to the end? And then the last question we can ask ourselves as we're reading is, why did the characters act this way? Why did the characters act this way? Basically, it's asking us, why were they doing that? What was the motivation behind them? In The Boy Who Cried Wolf, he was lying because he wanted attention. So why was he doing this? He wanted attention and was lying. And then when he really needed help, no one believed him. So he changed by learning that he should be truthful. And his lesson was about honesty. Okay. So when we are reading a story, we're going to be, and it's asking us for the message or the lesson, our brain should be saying, oh, that's the theme. That's what the author wants me to learn and take away from this story. It's a deep hearted message, not a central surface level like basketball or swimming or homework. Deep. Some of the things that we might come across are courage, dreams, kindness, fears, equality, friendships, honesty, family, achievement, acceptance, peace, hard work, being yourself, and never giving up.